Actress Zoe Kravitz is stylish as they come and of course she brings that to her homes as well. Back in 2015, Zoe picked herself up a 3,000 square foot apartment in Brooklyn, New York for $3.2 million, which was once a warehouse converted into residences. And much more recently, she picked herself up a historic hideaway in Pound Ridge, New York. Today, we're gonna take a look. In these videos, we don't reveal any addresses and even though I've done a house tour of my own place, please do not show up at any private residences because it's not safe for anyone. American actress, singer, model, and up and coming film director Zoe Kravitz has more or less been famous from the moment she was born. That's what happens when you have two of the most beautiful people of all time for parents in Lenny Kravitz and Lisa Bonet. Of course, Zoe's parents didn't only pass on their perfect genes to their daughter, they also shared their immense talent with her as well. Growing up in a gorgeous two lot artist compound in LA's Venice Beach helped teach Zoe all she ever needed to know about the life of an artist from her earliest years. Once she got old enough, Zoe struck out on her own and dedicated herself to becoming every bit as successful as her parents. Now, not only is she about to star as Catwoman in the surefire hit The Batman, but she's also about to release her very first film as a director. You're gonna be in the Batman movie, yes. and you are? Catwoman. Yeah. <laughs> Starring Channing Tatum, the filming of this project had kicked off plenty of rumors that Zoe and Channing were Hollywood's newest it couple. In fact, the rumors had been flying so fast and furious that Zoe had taken the drastic step of moving out of her $3 million Brooklyn apartment just so that she can get a little peace and quiet away from the paparazzi. And to provide an escape for herself, Zoe picked up a stunning historical retreat in the wealthy Westchester County hamlet of Pound Ridge, New York. Hey guys, it's Kara back with another exclusive house tour here on Famous Entertainment. This one looking at where Zoe Kravitz calls home. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit me up on Instagram to chat. And now let's get into this video. Let's kick things off with a look at Zoe's childhood home. Lenny and Lisa first met at a New Edition concert back in the 1980s and then married in November of 1987. Just before Christmas of that year, these two bought their very first home together, a two-lot artist's compound located in the trendy area of LA's Venice Beach. This was the house that Zoe would spend the first few years of her life before her parents' eventual split. Despite the fact that their marriage had ended by the early 90s, Lenny and Lisa would continue to hold on to this property, keeping it in the family until the year 2000. This 5,420 foot square foot home features an unmistakable creative vibe that runs through every room of this four bedroom, three bathroom residence. The main part of the house is structured as a mid century bungalow and was first built back in 1949. Almost 30 years later, an adjacent modern artist studio would be added on in 1980, and over the years, only a handful of further renovations would be done. For instance, back in 2019, the interior of the home was touched up with a focus on new flooring and updated kitchen appliances, like the addition of a Sub-Zero fridge and a Wolf range, alongside a double oven. Meanwhile, a two-level studio was renovated in 2014 and soaring 30-foot ceilings were added. Soon after that, an additional apartment was also constructed, dubbed the Treehouse. Other amenities included a fully stocked media room and a chicly designed living room. Around the exterior of the building is also a large deck situated on the second floor that offers some breathtaking views of the Pacific. Today the house is almost entirely green and is powered by solar panels as well as a water purification system. The surrounding landscape is lush and incorporates plants and trees from all around the world. Accessible only through a private gate, this property is totally secluded and it's also just a short walk to Venice's famous shopping and dining district on Abbot Kinney. And while the Kravitzes haven't lived here since the turn of the century, today this property is worth a whopping $7.8 million. Alright, now that we have an idea of where Zoe grew up as a kid, how about we take a look at the home she just recently scooped up. According to tax records, Zoe Kravitz recently purchased her brand new home from none other than action genre mainstay Maggie Q, her former co-star from their Divergent days. Just this past November, news broke that Zoe had acquired this place for $1.45 million in the town of Pound Ridge, New York, where her new home sits on top of a brook. 
In fact, this picturesque two bedroom, two bathroom property also includes more than two acres of private land jam packed with trees. Locally known as Aaron's Woodmill, this rustic three story structure once served as a cider mill in the late 1700s, before becoming a sawmill in the mid 1800s. By the early 20th century, the location was acquired and restored by American businessman and part owner of Standard Oil, who restored this home alongside a dozen other local buildings in the sleepy hamlet. Eventually, the old mill was transformed into this charming residence with nearly 2,600 square feet of space. Additional features include hand-hewn wood beams, wood-clad walls, polished wood floors, and period-appropriate sash windows. In terms of more modern upgrades, over the years an up-to-date gourmet kitchen was installed with stainless steel appliances, marble countertops, wood cabinetry, and bar-style seating. All of which fits in quite harmoniously with the antique feel of the rest of the place. In fact, the kitchen is actually just a small part of the sleek open concept of the entire main space. This double height great room also includes a minimalist fireplace, not to mention a second floor gallery from which anyone can admire the unbelievable home from above. Upstairs, the top floor bedroom has high slanted ceilings and plentiful shelving for books or small decorative pieces. It also comes with its very own wooden ladder to make sure everything in the room is within easy reach. A short walk from there is the main spa style bathroom that comes complete with a gigantic soaking tub set against a window that offers some of the very best views of the house. Speaking of views, outside a flat tree shaded lawn stretches out to the wood's edge and a stacked stone and wrought iron bridge spans that scenic bubbling stream that passes beneath the home. Pretty amazing place, right? Well, it's not the only place that Zoe owns. And when she's just gotta stick close to the city for work, odds are you'll probably catch her staying at her home base in Brooklyn's hyper-trendy Williamsburg neighborhood. Back in 2015, Zoe picked herself up a 3,000 square foot apartment for a hefty $3.2 million. Once a large scale warehouse, this area of the city has been converted into residences, but unfortunately there aren't many widely available pictures when it comes to either the building or Zoe's living space. What I was able to discover is this selfie of Zoe that she snapped a couple of years ago, which gives us a taste of her living room over in Williamsburg. It's hard to make out the details, but you get the impression that Zoe has gone for a minimalist style in her living room with not much more than a plush couch, a tan abstract rug, and a few small side tables. Apparently, she must have had some help with the overall look of the place as interior designer Ryan Corbin would later comment, proud of that living room. In terms of the rest of the space, while speaking with Vanity Fair, Zoe told them that for the most part, she keeps the place kind of a mess. My closets are a mess these days. I have clothes in different closets in different rooms, and I'm always running up and down the stairs with like one shoe on and no pants trying to find stuff. In that same interview, Zoe would reveal that she lives with a friend of hers who always keeps the place nice and cozy whenever Zoe has to leave for an extended absence. So why did Zoe decide to leave this place behind for a place outside the city? Well, it just might have a lot to do with her rumored relationship with Channing Tatum. Apparently, a local group of Williamsburg moms have created a text chain in order to keep tabs on Zoe and Channing, seeking them out all around the neighborhood. After paparazzi snapped pics of the couple out and about in Zoe's neighborhood, Page Six would report that it set a group of young moms on fire, sending texts like this back and forth with one another. Has anyone seen Channing Tatum is dating Zoe Kravitz and they've been seen around Williamsburg? My goal this week is to find them. Who is with me? Someone else then responded by literally giving out the name of the street Zoe's building is on, which would lead to at least one eventual sighting of the pair. Well, I hope for Zoe she found some peace and quiet at her new historic home in Pound Ridge because it sure is beautiful. How about you guys? What do you guys think? Did she make the right decision to get out of Brooklyn? After our Zoe Kravitz house tour, what did you think about her home? Be sure to leave your thoughts and comments down below. Thanks for tuning in. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram and I'll see you all in the next video. Bye.